That's a big one. I think we might title this video, My Schizophrenic Lake Fork. It's the week before Easter and I'm out on Lake Fork, which is basically my home lake. Though I have not been on this body of water since probably about a week before the Bassmaster Classic, which was like two or three weeks before, probably two weeks before the uh, Bass Pro Tour or MLF guys got here and they absolutely smashed them. I really feel like they had hit it like what we would call a perfect storm where the fish really first really big push made its way up there and they were there to intercept them. We're going to just try to get a, a good synopsis, kind of a Lake Fork report. Some of the stuff will be, it'll be kind of a, a modified Lake Fork report just because some areas I don't know that I'm going to be able to get into. It's blowing pretty good. There will be a limited number of areas that I can get into and fish. We'll try to uh, get an idea of kind of what's going on lately here on the lake. Usually April, there's uh, spawning fish from the very north end all the way to the dam. Caught a few fish yesterday, but it was really spotty. Just by the time I thought I would get on a pattern, it w it kind of evaporated. So it was a couple bites here and a couple bites there. And here's a look at what happened yesterday. Mm. Strike number two, but no fish. <laughs> So I've only had two bites. One little one on a swim jig. The other one looked like a keeper on the frog. Made a move about three or four miles away from there down towards the dam into a pocket that traditionally gets um, some nice spawning fish early in the year and holds them throughout, you know, all the way into May. It's just a great place. Uh, you got a good creek channel in here. I'm noticing a cormorant and a grebe over there. So there's probably some bait around here, which is also a plus. So let's see what happens. No. Man, I'm 3-0. and oh. That one just pulled me underneath the vine and came off. Not much I could do to that one. Maybe we're on to something. There we go. All right. Wow, look at that fish. I'm gonna say that's a pre-spawner right there. I mean, I feel like I caught it on a bed, but I would say, you know, just based on, see how she's peeing, he's peeing right there. I would definitely say that fish just got there. It's thick, doesn't look uh, run down at all, like it's been up there for a long time. All right, finally got one. Um, came into this pocket, 
just figured there should be some spawners in here or some fish I'm noticing some bait out there some like threadfin shad or some big gizzards so I switched over to a strike king shimmy stick and started pitching it it's a little 3 16 ounce um, striking tour grade tungsten weight and I believe that's a 4 aught owner jungle flipping hook I'm gonna need a new one but been pitching it in those holes and then back there I lost that other one that just kind of pulled me into the vine but I pitched up here and I lifted up and it, I saw one roll and then my line just started moving off and so I knew she had it so good deal maybe we're on to something whether they're actually on beds which I kind of feel like they are um, just being territorial about an area uh, the pattern the pattern's pretty pretty similar right there so the base of this stuff or get it around a area a place where a bass is on a bed and boy they just they just eat it up I think I've got to pick up my toad or my frog here a little bit fish it around boy just like that I thought I was on a pattern and nothing. That's a big one. That's what we came for right there. Look at that one. Oh my goodness, peeing all over me. Ugh. Got him, got him, got him too. That's the right kind right there. Woo. <laughs> Get a picture with it. You know, I lost that other one on the frog, but this one I got. All right. I mean, and that one came with a vengeance. Got this new bone cup color a couple months back. I really like it. Apparently they like it too. Awesome. I mean, I just stopped it right there. Just Thank you, Lord. That's number two. Kind of where you thought the male would be hanging out right up there in that shallow grass and hole in the grass another good one on the frog okay so here we are we are driving on almost four o'clock and um i've got to get home you know in a decent hour get home we're actually uh, my family and i are camping in the backyard so that's kind of cool I don't want to be late for that. I know I got to set up the tent and uh, get the grill out and uh, and just uh, and just do a little uh, a little camping prep, so to speak, for the backyard. Gosh, I've had one, two, three, four, five, six bites. Is that right? I think six bites or something like that. But I've only boated three. Um, hasn't been hasn't been a, a great hook to land ratio. I'm going to try to bebop around and get a, get a couple more of these pockets before I had to put this boat on the trailer and head home. Um, looks like, so far, I've had the most bites on the frog. And if I had my my way, I'd just throw the frog all day because I absolutely love top water. And the frog is, uh, is, is top water, basically. So I'd love to, uh, love to be able to catch some more on that frog. I'd love to get, you know, just a few more bites before I have to put it on the trailer. But thing about Lake Fork that makes it kind of challenging is covering water is not necessarily easy because you're like I'm doing right now I'm idling in and out of a lot of places so uh, uh, it takes time you don't spend the whole day fishing where on some reservoirs without a lot of uh, standing timber you can just run right up to the spot you want to fish fish that section put 
throw a motor up and run to the next spot. This place isn't as, uh, should I say, efficient. So uh, moving around, I'm believing that there's spawning fish that you can visually see on beds down lake. I've been staying on the upper end of the lake, on the west side, and um, you know, just, just putting in my time here and trying to catch them in that water that's a little more stained. You can see it right there. We've got a 10 mile an hour wind um, with, some, with some higher gusts. But we're gonna go ahead and run it down the lake and see if we can catch a few more fish, get a few more bites before it's time to go.